ton ami yeah. You're all I see When I close my eyes and dream You're all I see yeah. You're all I need, all I need We're following the E6 up towards Narvik. Got about another eight odd hours to go till we get to Narvik. Uh, we just had a little little pull up. Stops on the banks here. Make a brew. Uh, dogs a little roll walk around. But this is an incredible motor home stop you can stay here the night for free it's got a little table set out right on the river beautiful absolutely amazing what a great stop Great place to park. Right on the riverbank, eh? We've been going, I don't know how long we've been driving, three hours now? Quite a few roadworks on this route. There's some amazing views and the weather's so changeable. One minute we're covered in this grey skies, then it clears up and you get clear blue skies, sun comes out glistens down off the mountains, just looks incredible. Then it darkens up again and starts to rain. Thankfully, it's not right now. But you never know. But yeah, nice. So we're gonna have a brew, give the dogs some food as well. Oh, stretch my legs and then go again. So, got the little brew on. Nice coffee off the beer letter. Ooh, two dogs up for a little track up there. Nice little walk. Weather's staying good. A couple of other vans. They've, they've changed from the ones before. Anyway, here's to a coffee by the river above the Arctic Circle. At least I think we are. Lisa said we are, I've not looked yet. Mmm. Oh yeah. That'll get me going for another four hours up the road. Pups have been fed. And your Poochie Lou. Don't get all shy. Milky coffee for Lisa. Are you eating at the dog bowl as well? Yeah. Yum. <laughs> God, never mind Aurora. We have reindeer. We have reindeer. Oh, wow, this is an incredible day. Oh, did
So, pretty crazy drive yesterday, very long. Just stopped at this rest place. Toma, Toma Nesset, something like that. Toma Nesset. Not far now to the crossing onto uh, Lafotten. Yeah, it's quite a nice little place. Little waterfalls cascading down there. There's a lot of rain. Rain probably for about three odd hours solid on the way up after we passed the Arctic Circle. It rained on and off all day, but it absolutely t tipped it down. Um, it's funny enough when we arrived, it, it did. We had a break in it, so we managed to get the dogs out walking around, but it was all pitch black, so we couldn't see what we got. So this is it. I found it was nice enough weather to sit out on this bench. Look at these rocks. Little pool of water down here. But it's um looks very Jurassic. The polished rock art of Nordland. Ah. In Nordland one finds a unique group of images called polished rock art. The outlines of the figures are polished into a breath. Oh, uh, look. Look at that. Yeah, we've seen loads of them, haven't we? Thought there was no, not that way up. That means here, I think, on this smooth rock around here. <laughs> Stone Age people polished two reindeer into the rock. There you go. Yeah, they did it in the Stone Age. The animals are portrayed quite naturalistically with their heads lowered and in their natural size. Parts of the spinal lines are missing, most likely due to weathering. When these two figures were created, the now regulated Sagelva ran more rapidly and the Stag Sagfjord to the north was much closer. We can never grasp the full meaning behind the pictures. The images have been interpreted in several ways as tools in hunting magic that gave the hunter power over the game as markers of territory towards rival tribes and as symbols used in rituals and communication between people. Another ferry. We've come to Bogness, where we're going to cross on the ferry to Lerdigan, which is the Foten. Just joined the queue, didn't know which one to join, I just, just joined one. Ferry's coming in. We don't know. We don't know how many you can get on it, do we? Or when we get on this one, or wait for the next one. But they're like buses. You don't book. You just turn up. We've got the um, we've got the tag, and we've got the oh, where's the card? You just had it just now. Where did I put that card? It oh, it's in here. Yeah, and we've hooked it up with the auto pass for the um, ferry, so we should just be able to drive straight on and that'll just come off when we get invoiced next month. But um, yeah, off to Lafote, but we don't know what we're gonna do when we get there. Well, really? We get there. Yeah. There is a, there's a football pitch I wanna see, which is one of the most picturesque places to play football in the world. So yeah, we wanna go and see that. Hoenigsveer or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, we want to be in, in a town. Or we want to see a town, yeah, don't we? And, and stay in the town and walk around and see a little bit of a bit of bits and bobs, a bit of things. See what's going on. Sample local beer, I guess. Yeah, or pastry yeah, and coffees really and are. stuff, coffee shops, and see or just have a look around. I'm mean, I'm intrigued because we've not really mi mingled in the Norwegian community yet. We did a bit okay. in Lillehammer, but yeah. not. We've just been on the go, haven't we? So, we have, yeah. so time to time to do some mingling. Mingling in the mingling. That's my um, Scandinavian accent, by the way. Hoda wedi jodum, bada da da. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Arctic Circle's pretty cool. We're going to stop there again on the way home. Hopefully, the weather will be better and the shop will be open. We will um, no doubt do some bits there. Yeah, so a few bits of tap, no doubt. Yeah, but for now. Let's see how this works. If yeah. it works the way it says it should work. <laughs> yeah, the guy came round, didn't he, and 
just scanned our number plate and just walked, carried on walking. He didn't yeah. stop and say anything to us. So looks like the uh, the uh, tag pass was like the flight pass and the um, the ferry auto pass ferry is all working well. We should get a bill next month for all our toll roads and all our ferry crossings. And with this uh, auto pass link, we should get up to 50% off on ferries and up to, well, and 20% off all tolls. Yes. So they say. Something like that. Yeah, that. no, it's well worth doing the way we set it up. I did it two months before we came away to make sure it was all done. First of all, I thought it was a bit complicated and I couldn't get it sorted, but I managed it, got it all done right. It was the linking, wasn't it, that was the most difficult? Linking the two together. Uh, get it to send a code to my phone to to actually start the process to get an account. But it worked. Then went to deposit about three hundred pounds, wasn't it? Yeah, just under three hundred pounds into the account to make it live. So. And then I guess we use that balance up and anything extra. Yeah, yeah. They bill us for the following month. That's right. Come. Finally, the weather stays like this. It doesn't get any worse. I'll be alright. Yes. Makes it look more moody, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Ooh, big tyres. Bottle of beer, anyone? Beer. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Why are we changing lanes? Yep, we are as well. So I guess this is a bit of a cruise and drive holiday isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Turning exactly out to be. At the best of both worlds. Oh well, we're moving. It takes 60 minutes from what I just read. I didn't think it was that long. Here we go. Oh that one left already to Narvik. It's open for business. We're going to get a couple of coffees. I think it's self service. Cakes, pastries, donuts, salad. Right, how do we do this? Uh, two coffees. 80, 80 knock? Is it 80 knock? Let's have a look. Got this app. It does give you adverts, which is a bit of a pain now and again, but. So 80 not currently is £5.96 at today's rate. Yeah. Is that good or bad? Two little coffees on a little ferry. Train or something, a train station or? Yeah. It's quite a nice coffee as well.
You've got your sweet now and your milk. Good. I didn't know how to work the machine, it's basically push a button and you get coffee. I was tempted to have some cake, but it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, you should have had some cake. Well, we've got time. Oh, what's that chocolate? Kvik. Kvik lunch. See it? Stripy at the top left. Behind the till. Yeah, chimney cake. Chimney cake. Oh, that reminds me. Lab scales. Seems quite popular. Meatballs and potatoes. Egg on toast with love hearts. Lap scouts. It looks really nice. That's what that's what they, that couple have got over there. Oh, that's what that couple over there got. Yeah, the other one looks like meatballs, doesn't it? It does, but, but almost like donut-y looking meatballs yeah. with potato. And the other You've one's love heart eggs on toast. Yeah. Well, that's quite a bit There's the quick, quick lunch. Red, white, and red, yellow, and green stripes. Ah, uh, yeah. Like a Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah. Quick lunch. Quick lunch. I've got fish in the spring. Those hot dogs are good. Bottle of noisy, anyone? Going the other way. I wonder if they're going to go to each other. Other noises are available. Look at that house, Lise. Would you like to live there? Cool, I can imagine that's a bit. Yeah. I bet they've got thick skin. Nice winter skin all year round. Let's go this side and watch this ship pass. <laughs> that looks quite posh at the front, that one. Oh, all right, because you do get the electric ones, don't you? We were reading about the electric ones that they've had going across, so we might get one of those from one of the other places. Right, I guess we better start looking for a park up. See those people parked up there. I don't think we're going to be short of them, that's for sure. A little beaches for Dolly to run around on and Daisy to have a plod about. Ooh, it's fresh. I've been out here far too long. Right, I'm going back in now. Get ready to go below deck. Get in the vehicle. Just got off the ferry. Quite a stunning backdrop already, quite dramatic with all the uh, low cloud etc bit of a traffic hold up something's happened to this guy in the motorhome I'm not sure what there's a few people around him in a, a rescue vehicle of sorts don't know whether he's got a bit of vehicle problems or been crouched down looking at something maybe he's got a flat tyre or something's gone wrong I hope it's alright though poor fella a cracking little old hymer there Reminds me of Herman every time I see an old one. Right, look at this. So, we're over on Lafon and we're at a free park up, obviously, because we're misers. It's not too shabby. The noise you can hear rumbling behind me is a lorry waiting to go on a ferry. Really murky, but it was clear for a little bit, it was coming through. Got off the ferry and the drive in was incredible. Never seen so many amazing sights and every tunnel you went through and every corner you turn and every bridge you went over. It was just amazing. And that's just the beginning. But we're down in Svolvaya. So this is a free stop for my homes, which is okay. Don't think there's any services. That ferry's waiting to go, so these guys are gonna get on that, I guess. Svolvaya is the biggest town on the uh, group of Lafotten Islands so we'll be going out in a little bit for a dog walk see if we can mingle with some locals, see some people, see what the real life's all about 
Moses Stanis Proud. Incredible. The ferry crossing was really good. About an hour. And then the drive from there to here, like I say, was stunning. You got your bow. You got your wooden bow. And your nylon bow. You chewing your feet? Excuse me, feet police. Uh, can we stop that, please, sir? No chewing of feet around here, okay? You've been told. You know what you do, and you know you shouldn't, don't you? I'm watching you. We've opened the windows up for you. You can see what's going on outside. Room with a view. All right? Good boy. So, out we go. A little bit windy. A little bit of windy. And the winter coat's out. Oh, your hoodie. There we go. Oh, where are you going? Diesel. Yeah, so, a bit of a dog walk. Have a look around. The sun peaked out a little bit. Whoa, yeah. Don't worry. Oh, look at that big RV. So, this is the uh, second place we've been in, or what asked to be in the first place. Had reviews of, oh, what a great pub to meet the locals, la di la di la. So I thought that'd be good. So we went over to it. Doesn't matter what the name is. Um, walked in with pooches. Did you allow dogs in? No. Okay. And there's no outside seating. So we come to this next place. The Anchor Brig. Anchor Brig. Really nice. So I walked inside, asked about uh, getting a drink. Yeah, no problem. Do you allow dogs in? No, sorry. So can we sit outside? Yeah, of course you can. But the outside area is pretty much closed, so there's no one here. They've got heaters above there. They could easily put them on and let people... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's uh, supply and demand, I understand. But they let us in, so that's good. So, got a pint. It's a, uh, what it's called? Isk or something. Uh, eight pound. Eight pound. Mm. So, we found a place. Didn't we? Mm. That allows. Oh, oh, where are you, Dolly? Oh, it's a nice place. That, uh, that allows the puffle ups in, which is good. They brought us water. Um, it's a hotel, yeah. But it's attached to a pub. Through there, through there and down there, straight into the pub. This is very nice. Rendezvous. I would have dressed up. What do you mean you have dressed up? I've put some makeup on. Well, I've dressed up for winter, yeah. So, we're such good children that they've allowed us access into the pub. So, we're going in. Here we go, we need livening up. It's like, it's like a morgue anyway. We call it a pub, we call it a morgue. It's good, yeah? Okay, thank you. Put it on the table here, come to talk to you. Oh, you. lovely. Oh, good. Nice. There you go. Let's sit down over there. Sit on the chair. Oh, go on then. You sit on there, I'll sit here. So these are proper Lofoten people. Lofoten? Lofoten? How do you pronounce it? Is it Lofoten? Lofoten? How do you say? Lofoten. 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 But I'm not from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you from? I'm from all the way south. Okay. You're from where? The south. South of Oslo. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. We drove we'll up. That's where we drove. Right we come from Sweden into towards Oslo. And we just get for four days. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 A wonderful place where the dogs are accepted.
Wow, look at this place. 